morning, good morning, the boxing world. This is Derek Bobby Rolone at Strictly Boxing. Okay, fellas, okay, Mr. Anthony Joshua made it look real easy last night, man. He It was something simple and easy. Didn't even look like he broke a sweat, man. He just went in there, took his time. Do a jab or two. Look like in Gnot and Gnu was trying a little something. Bang! He drops him in the first round with the big right hand. He gets up. All right. He plays with him a little bit more. He seems like just setting him up, filling him out. Bang! He drops him again in the second round. He referee puts him up. He gets up, and then he ends it with another right hand. Made it look very, very easy. I'm telling you, man, I told you, man, experience has, experience means a whole lot. You can't come in this boxing game, man, and think that right off the street, you can just, oh, I want to be a boxer and get in there with an experienced fighter and, and be able to hold your own amongst the best. It's not going to happen. It's not going to, every now and then, somebody might, uh, Somebody might come in and, 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 you know, have some skills and some knowledge from another sport. Maybe, some, you know, street fighter, maybe that. But this boxing thing is different, man. You got to commit to this, man. You got to be, you got to be groomed to this, man. This takes sacrifice, man. It takes discipline, man. And this is the really big thing, man, about, about the young up-and-coming fighters, man. You know, your lifestyle got to live right to really, really be good. And what I think is a big problem amongst our young fighters is they're winning fights. They're winning and they're continuing a different lifestyle. And when we get to the top of the game, excuse me, the top of the game, we find out who's the committed ones, who lives the good life. And that's I like Anthony Joshua. I like his attitude. I like his discipline. You know, I like his humbleness. Listen, I think he's going to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. He lives a clean life. He's disciplined. And I think, you know, I thought he might have fell off because of Usyk. I don't know, Usyk. Uh, maybe just had an off day with Usyk or Usman moving around the ring and his leg work and his a uh, ring... Being able to get him around the ring made it probably made it difficult for Anthony Joshua. What I told you though, I told you it was gonna be an easier fight because Nganu is right in front of you. So all you gotta do is get his timing down. Once you get his timing together with his jab, you catch he throw a couple jabs, you time his jab a couple times, bang, the overhand right over the jab. That's all you had to do. And that's all he did, you know, it was one on one. It was boxing one on one. You time the jab, right hand over the jab, bang, you know? That's why I train my little, my young kids, man. I train them, man, fast jabs, no lazy jabs. I emphasize that so much in the ring, they get tired of hearing me say that. No lazy jabs. Because a lazy jab, a person comes over your jab, man. And that's exactly what happened, man. It, it was simple, it was easy, and, you know, you got to take this thing more serious. Maybe this should be a lesson, man, um, to some of the other big fighters also, you know, a lot of big fighters, uh, they're not living the lifestyle, man, you know, they're not living the lifestyle when you get to a certain level of this thing. They say there's a level to this this thing. They say, they say there's levels to boxing, man, and, and you know, you could probably, uh, Still hang out, still like like when you talk about the Garcia, you can still smoke and smoke your weed, and you can still drink your alcohol, and you can still do all that when you're on a certain level. When you're on a certain level, all right, you know you still can beat guys, but when you get up on the top, top, top of the line with guys that's disciplined. Guys that have been doing this thing for a long time. Guys that have been through the amateurs and the nationals and, and Olympics. and they, These guys are serious. This is their life. When you get to this level, when you think about the Crawfords, when you think about even the Canellos, when you think about you know guy, even Roy Jones, when you think about guys in the past, the ones that was the discipline, they we became, when you get to the top of the line, they become the champs. 
Champs ain't the person that hangs out in the club, gets high when he not got a fight working. Excuse me about that right there. Those are not, those are not the ones that succeed when you get to the top of the line. When you get to unification of title fights, you know, this is one thing that I'm leaning towards Devin Haney against Garcia. And the reason is because of the lifestyle, the discipline, you know, and, and, and those, at, when you get to the top of the line, these are the fighters that win. And I'm telling you now, in my opinion, Anthony Joshua will beat Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury beats Usak. If he beats Usak, I believe it's May 18th. If Tyson Fury beats Usak, I'm taking Anthony Joshua to beat Fury for the heavyweight title, heavyweight championship of the world. He's disciplined. He's humble, and I like his attitude. I think Anthony Joshua will be the next heavyweight champion of the world. All right? This is Poppy Roland, signing out. Peace.